Daisy! Daisy! Come on, Daisy, go through the tunnel. Come on. Daisy, go through the tunnel. Go! Come Yay, on. Daisy! What's up, happy campers? We really enjoyed our stay here at the Houston West RV Park in Brookshire, Texas. This RV park is pretty awesome. It's got 200 sites. They're not real picky on their rules. There are older RVs here and they're not having any issues with that, as well as with big dogs. One of our concerns is Daisy, being a German Shepherd, some RV parks consider her to be dangerous and so they won't allow her on property. Here at Houston West RV Park, they actually have two different dog parks, one for little dogs and one for big dogs, and it's plenty of space for Daisy to really have fun and run around. We have really enjoyed taking her in there and just getting her to move around and have fun, as well as there's the pond that has a walking trail that goes all the way around the pond. This RV park has a swimming pool with a waterfall, which we love, and a hot tub. And the hot tub was actually working really well. We were very impressed. There were some leaves kind of scattered through the pool in the hot tub, but they had the big long scooper thingy, whatever you call that, that we, uh, Kaylin and I took turns getting leaves out. We really enjoyed the hot tub in the pool and would absolutely love to come back here and use that some more. It's a big RV park, but it's well taken care of. The facilities here from the showers to the laundry room to the pet washing area, the swimming pool, the dog park, it was all awesome. We loved it. This is on the side of the laundromat slash shower room. I thought this was super awesome. I'm gonna bring your dog over here and get him all washed up. Get him walked up in here. Spot to put some spot to put a brush and your soap. Get him sprayed down real nice. This is a nice touch. Garbage can right there, and an electrical outlet if there's something you needed. I don't know, hair dryer. Right here behind me is Interstate 10, and the RVs are lined up right here behind me. There's no fence, so if you're relying on a fence to keep your kiddos from running down to Interstate 10, you can't count on that. You better train your kiddos not to go down this hill right here. We're not the type to be too worried about the noise as we sleep at a lot of rest areas and run our generators. We didn't need the generator here because it is full hookup, but the road noise didn't really bother us. Occasionally we would hear maybe somebody with an engine brake on Interstate 10, but it wasn't terrible. Didn't keep us awake at night. Well, we've got a lot of wildflowers on this side. The other side in the middle are already filling up with blue bonnets. Some of the spots here are pull through, some are back in. A lot of the pull throughs have a lot more space, kind of keep everything in a row. For us, our spot was kind of shallow, and so we wound up having to put the truck in this, it's almost like it's two RV spots, two shallow ones with a picnic table between us. And they have signage that says, there is only enough space here to bring one vehicle with you. Any extras will need to be parked up front by the office. Sewer hookups are in pretty good condition, nice and low. It's a little weird trying to keep rocks from falling down in there. Originally there was two water hookups here. The threads though on this one are just gone. So we only had the one to use and it's really low. That was kind of awkward. The power hookup, a little different than what we're used to in a state park, but it works. No issues, no concerns coming off of the hues. The shower facilities were really nice here. In fact, the shower facilities were so nice here that the second night I wanted to go take a shower. I insisted Tanya and the girls come with and we could all take a shower. They had three different shower rooms over by the laundromat. 
So we were all able to kind of take showers at the same time. It was awesome. I felt like this park was a really good value. The family loved it. They don't want to go home. In fact, I think Kira said, I want to stay here for 10 years. Well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of living in an RV and being able to go other places. So the daily rate is like $44. It's like $5 off if you've got a good SAM membership. And it looked like the rates for a month are $5.50 for the month, plus electricity. Still haven't figured out all the numbers there, like what I would use. It was like 13.5 cents per kilowatt hour. I don't know what I'm using in the RV yet. They do have a park store up at the front. Looks like they've got plenty of stuff in there. Closes at six o'clock, except on Sunday, closes at five. All right, y'all, if you're gonna be west of Houston looking for a decent RV park to stay, we recommend this park. Happy camping, y'all.